Do I not? Hello. We're here. We are back. Okay, hello, everyone. We had a massive failure uh, earlier because we forgot to make sure our battery was charged on the computer. Yes, all dad's fault. <laughs> so we were in the middle of our uh, DAX um, AEW action figure review. Um, so anyway, I guess we'll just pick up where we left off, right? Uh, yes, and we do have someone in chat right now. Cool. Okay, uh, hello to uh, whoever you are. If you would like to speak in chat, then you can. And if you don't want to, then you don't have to. Right. Okay. So what we were saying was that uh, these are the, uh, I guess, the newest FTR uh, action figures. We do have another set, but ours is from uh, back in the, the old WWE days when they were uh, uh, the Revival, right? Yeah. And they're a two-pack basic, so they're, they're not very, very good. They're terrible. So we were badly in need of some upgraded FTR guys. So Boog ordered these in the spring, and they just come in yesterday. Now that I think about it, I don't know if anyone can come in. If they, I don't think we're officially live yet. Well, because I set it up for a specific time, it might take just wait one minute. Well, it says you are, so I guess sure. Yeah, but I don't think anyone's gonna be able to come in until nine ten. Okay. okay. Let's sit here, I guess. All right. Well, we gotta get moving on. My dinner's ready. Oh, uh, well, that's unfortunate for Mr. Dad. Okay, there you go. Continue. All right. So uh, we were just reviewing our uh, AEW FTR figures. Uh, Boot ordered these back in the spring. They just came in yesterday for Ringside Collectibles. We were saying we had a um, we had an old set of basics from when they were in the WWE that we've been using uh, when they were the Revival. So we were badly in the need of an upgrade there, and these look really good. I think um, the head scan. Not exact, but it's okay. Uh, the body, well, they definitely gave these guys an upgrade because I don't remember them being this ripped. Do you, Boog? <laughs> Not at all. But uh, I don't even know if they were that ripped in real life either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, it's, this doesn't really look like him at all. <laughs> I think they did. They, I think they kind of did a terrible job on this one. I mean, it's a cool figure. It looks oh, good. Yeah, that but, Eddie Kingston again. <laughs> but yeah, if you expect it to look like uh, Dax, I, I don't really think it does that much. Um, but anyway, I guess we will take it. And it also comes with the AEW uh, World Tag Team Championship belt. And an entrance coat. Which we have these in, entrance coat. But these look a little, a little more shiny uh, than the ones we have, uh, which I guess we got in the beginning of the year. So yeah, it comes with the title. His interest jacket. And then uh, next up, That's of course, we have his tag team partner, uh, Cash. Cash Wheeler. Right. Cash Wheeler. There and I was telling Big, I, I do like FTR. Um, they're kind of a classic old school kind of tag team. They remind me of the guys that I grew up seeing, uh, you know, kind of the same vein as what Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express. Uh, the four horsemen, you know, like Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson, you know, they're kind of all in that cut, cut from cut from the same cloth. So I, I do think they're fun to watch, and I, I I like tag team wrestling a lot when it's done right. So uh, yeah, I, I think they're they're an interesting team. They're not the AEW champions right now. They're I don't know. They have like three other titles. It's hard for me to keep up. They got a they got a lot of titles in AEW, but they have a they've got a few belts on them at the moment, and the crowd seems to like them. So I think they're they're pretty popular. Right? Yes. And uh hopefully Boog will get on the bandwagon soon. He's not been a huge, huge fan uh as of yet. Uh usually in our little wrestling action figure promotion that we have, uh he makes them take a lot of losses. Yeah, uh, and they get pretty much in the pool. But I make sure they're on the card every week. <laughs> so eventually he'll see the light, hopefully, and and uh give them some W's. Either that or uh, they're gonna be forced into early retirement after the butt beatings they get every single week. Boog! <laughs> You need to have some respect from FTR. I mean, you hear the crowd chants. FTR, FTR, right? Yeah. And they have an awesome theme song. I love the theme no, song. No, I kind of think they stole that from Midnight Express because it sounds a lot like theirs. But it might be slightly different, I guess. But yeah, pretty cool action figures. But like I said, as far as them actually looking like who they're supposed to be, I think the head scan could be a little better. <laughs> and the body... Well, they definitely gave him the bot upgrade. There's no doubt. It is certainly not that ripped last time I saw him. And that was just, what, a couple nights ago? 
Yeah. We were watching. They were on uh, what? Uh, Rampage. Rampage or Dynamite. Or Dynamite. I guess Dad could go over Dynamite while I'm continue to try to get his, the, his partner in crime opened. Yeah, next weekend we have, uh, we have what is it called? All Out. All Out. Yeah, Labor Day weekend. So that's going to be awesome. And the WWE's got a thing going on too. Um, Clash at the Castle. Oh, sorry. But you do yeah. have some WWE reviews. They're overseas, right? So right they're, after this. Yes, yeah, so they're in what? England? So it's Clash at the Castle. Yeah. Yeah, so they're overseas. So that should be a good one to look forward to, too. Uh, Summer Slam was much improved, I thought. Uh, way better than uh, most of the pay-per-views uh, they've had recently. So I think Triple H has, you know, done a pretty good job over there. So maybe it will uh, maybe it'll get better. I think that's one of the main reasons why we got to AEW, because WWE had just gotten to where for us it was just pretty boring wasn't it yeah for it was a snooze most fest. of the last couple of years just really wasn't dad, dad, either boring dad, or it just didn't make any sense yeah dad yeah. would always pass out on the couch yeah yeah there just wasn't a whole lot to see there dad so, and papa we're looking forward to some major improvements uh with that and we we really enjoyed what AEW has done so far this year i've liked most of their shows we've gotten what all the pay-per-views this year for yeah. AW, and they, I think they've all been good. They're 50 bucks, but I think they've all been worth it. I hadn't, we hadn't had one yet. We went just like, yeah, uh, man, his partner is here. Great. All right, so yeah, here's Cash. So let's see if they did a better job with him. So this is Cash. What's his last name? Uh, Cash Wheeler. We'll put his head down a little bit so kind of, kind of see. And I'm gonna say yes, I think they did a much better job with Cash Wheeler, uh, as far as the head. Let's have a massive goes. forehead, though. Let's have a massive forehead, yes. <laughs> But I think the nose, the eyes, they they got they got all that. That it actually resembles him. Why did they get his um, forehead so course, big? <laughs> he got a major physique upgrade too. Uh, <laughs> he's not that ripped, but hey, you know it's action figure. It's all good. And then we'll go to the back side. Dad is roasting these two on the stream. They got his, his tattoo there. He's but dead. he's wearing the matching white underpants, kind of like Cash. Dad uh, just destroyed FTR on that. Says like, Dash dude. here on the pants, and let's get them both kind of together. So yeah, this is cool. FDR folks in the white under under bridges. <laughs> under bridges. <laughs> yeah. So uh and they both come with their matching red jackets, kind of four horseman style. So I, I think these figures are you know are good. Like I said, they could have done a little better with uh with Dax, but I, I think Cash is, is is totally fine. All right, big, what do you think? Uh Today I'll be saving our ratings for once we're finished. So we got two more vi figures to review. Uh, okay, well, we'll have to get back to those in a couple of minutes. I've got to go take care of something in the kitchen. Yeah, Dad has dinner to <laughs> eat. Right, right. And then we'll cut, jump back on here and do the review on, I guess, is that the final two? Uh, Yeah. Okay, on our final two uh, from this order. Um, So, uh, yeah, we'll see you here in just a little bit. Uh, Yes. Take care, everybody. And this is Dad. Big Dad signing off. Right. All right, Dad. We've ended. Goodbye. 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 Okay. There goes Dad with his pants falling down. <laughs> and yes, I am staying live because my dinner is not ready yet. Oh, hello. MRJ Games. Hello. So, so what are you guys up to? Or, I guess guy or girl. So we just got finished reviewing uh, FTR, and uh, and we uh. And we uh, and Dad just left to go eat dinner, so I just decided I would just stay alive, I guess. So I'll be here. And make sure to like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. And also keep topics in chat uh, family friendly. It seems like we have another person who's entered. Uh, uh, we would. Uh, 
uh, we would like you to uh, at least say hi in the chat, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So, just so we know that you're there. Have to read that live on chat. No, you read it. Okay. It's a sign for our poll. It's very needed. Very much needed. All right, dude. Uh, read that to the chat, please. I already read it. I've showed it to you. You read it. <laughs> and now you need to read it. Um, it says, persons <laughs> having currently active diarrhea or who may have had active diarrhea within the previous 14 days shall not be allowed to enter the pool of water. It's it's much needed. <laughs> yes, for Mr. Dad, if very much needed. Okay, Dad, get, and our, our, guests. get our other, uh, get our other uh, figures up. Okay. I believe we do have someone in the chat right now. We do. All right. Yay. We like company. Yes, because. Okay. We... So our final two are. Ultimate Warrior. Dun, dun, dun. And. The British Bulldog. Yay. Now, Warrior, is this the Legends Collection? No, this no. is Ringside Exclusives. Okay, it's not the Legends Collection from, from Target. Ringside Exclusives. And Bulldog has come in the Elite Collection, uh, it looks like. Of course, from Mattel. Um, British Bulldog, yeah, just the Elite Collection. And he has the True FX. So I'm not sure if this is the first time uh, that he's gotten the True FX look. But we have a British Bulldog that is very old, but it's actually very good. Yeah. Um, so they were able to get a really good Bulldog out a long time ago. But we did so there need he is. Update, update I watched his one. Bulldog growing up when I was a kid, uh, especially when he was in his tag team, the British Bulldogs, with, uh, let's see, what was his name? What was his partner's name? Uh, Remember? Davey, no, that's him. Uh, this is Dave Boy Smith. His partner was, mm. oh, shucks. Can't remember. Dynamite Kid. Dynamite Kid. Yes, the Dynamite Kid. So, and, and we got a little cool, I don't have noticed this before. It's certified authentic, it says. On the box, um, he doesn't have a number. Just says elite collection, collectors. Oh, it's collectors edition. Yeah. Says so. Okay. So it does have a cool, special looking box. I've never seen the purple stuff, purple done before. It looks kind of neat, but he looks like he's going to be a nice figure. Yeah, I think the head scan is good. All right, Boo, let's do this. I'll get into hell with that shows up boy here. All right, Boogles are opening up the British Bulldog, and then this one. Uh, yeah, even more special pack packaging here. So, weird looking box. There's no place to hang it in the stores because it wasn't sold at stores because it's a ringside exclusive. Uh, you see it's got the Mattel emblem there. So, I guess this is something that they made just for ringside collectibles, which is kind of cool. And, of course, it's Warrior, Elite Warrior from WrestleMania 7. So, I'm trying to think. He wins the title at 6. Uh, over Hogan, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then seven. What was he doing at seven? They, they already, he'd already lost the title. They took taking that from him. Right there we go, background. Uh, we got summary slam background. But, oh, I think it tells us right here. We got yeah, a little information. Look. Oh, what do we got? We got summary slam backdrop. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, summary slam backdrop action. So yeah, I guess this is Bulldog from Summer Slam. Yeah, whatever logo that summer slam is. Nah, yeah, that's one of the old ones. Yeah. 80s, definitely 80s. Uh, all right, so the ultimate return, this says. So, leading into WrestleMania 7. Oh, yeah, I think I know that one. I think uh, he sees Triple H at that one. You're right. Hunter Hearst Hemsley was a rising star in WWE. The Connecticut Blue Blood had yet to be defeated inside the ring, putting away opponent after opponent with his devastating pedigree. His WrestleMania match would be his biggest challenge yet. Some might say the ultimate challenge. After a four-year hiatus, Ultimate Warrior made his return to WWE. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. This is WrestleMania. I didn't see the X. WrestleMania 12, not 7. Um, yeah, that's why I was like, what? It didn't make any sense. Okay, yeah. So this was way down the line uh, after Warrior first won the title and then lost it. So, yeah, he left for a long time. Came back, and uh, so um, so yeah, it makes his return at WrestleMania 12. I don't think I've ever even seen this match. Uh, it says the unmistakable symbol crash, followed by adrenaline pumping guitar, caused the entire WWE universe to pop out of their seats to catch a glimpse of the face painted hero as he sprinted to the ring with intensity and ferociously shook the ropes. 
Within the first minute, Hemsley hit the pedigree. I only have Warrior pop up completely unfazed. Tables turn. Ultimate Warrior pressed his opponent over his head, dropped him like a sack of potatoes, and finished the match with a devastating splash. There was no mistake. <laughs> Ultimate was Warrior so was back. Dead. Yeah, that's really says. It's got a whole little, little thing here with it. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we all know he did. His return didn't last very long. Uh, but, yeah, he did make his return here uh, and defeated uh, Triple H at WrestleMania 12. But this still looks like an awesome action figure. So I'm excited for Booty to get in here and open this one up. I even like the way it's kind of got the warrior like symbol printed out in the box. It's, it's a great box. Did a good job with this. Very cool. And is this new for this year, Boot? What do we got on the bottom here? Does it say what the year it is? Do you remember on your pre-order? Uh, yeah. Is it fresh out? Well, it says 2020 WWE, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, the British Bulldog All right, is here. Bulldog is here and out. Thanks so, for the potatoes, potato emojis, potato keeping. Wow, he's a great figure. This looks good. So let's check out that true FX. I think it looks a lot like him. What do you think, Big? <laughs> yes, very good. He does good? Yeah. But the hair braid, all that looks nice. Of course, now his physique does look right. He was very buff and huge. So, yeah. Looks looks accurate. Um, it's kind of got the lace down the side here. Bulldog on this side. It's a real good looking trunks. Yeah, overall, this I is just really, really awesome. I think we got really, really another awesome. cool backdrop. BB? I think we got another uh, cool BB? backdrop. The only thing that would have been better with this figure is if it come with Matilda. I miss Matilda. She was awesome. Yeah, so this one we get, with the Warrior, we get the WrestleMania uh, 12 backdrop. A lot of thunder and lightning looks like. So he come with he comes with uh, is this like a cape? What is this? It's, it's nice, whatever it is. It's like a sack kind of thing. So the bulldog is on the front. It's got some little handles. And is he draping around his shoulders? How's it supposed to work? I don't know. You have to put these connect to his arms so they had to take his head off and then put it. Put it oh, so he does wear it there like this? Yeah. Okay, so kind of like that. And of course, yeah, it's not actually going to do it himself. Yeah, yeah. That's Still weirded it. out by breaking the figures. But Big says now that's completely normal. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I like this figure. It's great. I'm going to push down a little bit here, Big, so we can get a little more action going on. So, yeah, in this stream so far, we've gotten uh, the new British Bulldog, FX. We've gotten uh, Cash from FCR. We've gotten uh, Dexter. Oh, yeah, this is definitely from 2000 and. Uh... Yeah, and 20 because we didn't even have double jointed arms on it. Okay, so that they've had that figure a while. Maybe we just didn't see it, or you just got around to ordering it, something like that. And no, we did not order this all the way back in 2020. <laughs> no, we must have just saw it, or like you said, just got around to order it. But yeah, man, he looks good. Let's get Warrior up there. Look at this face paint's awesome. Um, they did a lot of work with this. This jacket is amazing. All the detail they were able to get on there, of course, it's tassels. What a great character. There he is on the back. The warrior. Just really, really awesome. Love this. And I wasn't even that big of a warrior fan when I was a kid. But you have to admit, looking back, I mean, his character was really, really awesome. Who wouldn't get behind this guy? So let's take that off. And it's it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's kind of a fabric, uh, fabric thing, right? So it's yeah. not vinyl, which is nice. See, it kind of fabric you feel on the inside, and then it's a little kind of a plastic you feel on the outside, but it's 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 nice, it's really really cool. Love this. Great job, Mattel. Now let's see the warrior. Check out those trunks. All right, so yeah, he's got the blue and orange, kind of with like a lightning burst thing going on with the trunks there. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, <laughs> dad. Really awesome. I love it. I think this was a good pickup, Boog. Yes, definitely. Tassels. And when he come back, I don't remember that, but I guess he could come back with a little arm tattoo. Yeah. Looks like. So, yeah. Looks great. All right. That was an awesome figure. Okay. So, just like a little recap here, and we'll get out of here. Yep. So, we got FTR. True FX 
British Bulldog. And Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior ex Ringside Collectibles exclusive. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the uh, live stream. Right there, we've been muted this whole entire time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just oh. kidding. Okay. Well, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. And how many folks we got on here, babe? Uh, we have, I believe, Petito Cubing 10,000 years ago. It's the only one still here. Oh, all right. Well, good to see you. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Okay, guys. In this video, may you subscribe to Big Dad TV for some more awesome wrestling fun. Bye. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. Okay.